thermal regulation, the hidden parameter, or why it is crucial to consider it as a therapy rather than calling it a bed and acting so. Keeping people warm has been a topic for our ancestors. They used radiant heat from fires, they used conductive heat from heated stones. And actually, there is nothing new. Since 1878, if you look at a prototype of an incubator, just the same as today, warmed water, a baby, above. Many of us feel that handling of temperature is something for nurses, doctors rather, save lives. It is also so that we feel it is safe in the hand of the nurses, and one nurse seems to be better than one more incubator. We also feel that speaking about thermal regulation, maybe it's making a simple matter a complicated one. A nurse takes a temperature, she adjusts the incubator, so what's more to it? However, we have to see that we have very little information on thermal regulation, because if you look in scientific databases and you search the term of thermal regulation, you will just find a little bit less than 2,000 hits. If you take parameters like neonatal ventilation, it's more than 20,000. So it's not really in our heads. It is also so if you look in education and teaching, thermal regulation doesn't play a big role. If you look at an example from a German classical textbook on neonatology with 680 pages, it is just five which deal with thermal regulation. And it's got no own chapter. It's just integrated in transition. What do we have to change? One thing, of course, that probably we have to identify experts, experts on thermal regulation, also on the scientific side. Very few people come to mind when I think who is a real expert in this topic. I know hundreds of experts on ventilation, on other topics in neonatal medicine on infection, but very few that deal with thermal regulation. So this, of course, could be a role of any stakeholders to identify such experts. The message I feel it's rather simple. Energy used to regulate your own body temperature is not available for weight gain, it's not available for organ growth, especially for the brain, and it's not available for well-being of uh, the patient, of, of, of the baby. So certainly we should deal with this matter. My conclusion is you should make thermal regulation a more attractive, a more sexy topic. You should also make it more visible both in terms of the device itself, but as I said, also in science and also in teaching.